And we just lost our whole setup. Nice. What is up guys? I'm going to be unbagging, since it's not a box, the newer 24 inch octagon and testing it out. So first layer, nothing fancy. We're in a little plastic bag within a plastic bag. But it looks like we do come with a nice newer case. We've got our main uh, piece here. Then we've got our grid, our light dish, our diffusion. Undo that. The design that I got is kind of a quick open mechanism as we can see, here we go. So here's this, it's just one of those really simple, easy collapse, easy set up. Push in till it locks, boom, here we go. Uh, I went with this design because a lot of times I'm, you know, traveling around to different studios. I don't personally own a studio. What you see here is actually my bedroom. Uh, and my primary use case for these is going to be on location, shooting with models, shooting with clients, interviews, stuff like that, even though I probably will utilize it in the YouTube setup. But I wanted something that was going to be really, really easy, really, really simple to set up and take down rather than messing with all the rods every single time or having to leave these non-collapsible. And there's somebody's car alarm. Awesome. I'm not likely to be using the beauty dish too much because I'm not using flash. So I'll be using all continuous lighting with this guy. Uh, what is gonna come in handy our inner diffusion for a second layer, as well as our main diffusion. So let's go ahead and get these guys in. All right, so the inner diffusion's really easy. It's just Velcro to Velcro, and in like that in about, you know, 20 seconds, which is great. And the outer one looks to be fairly similar. It's gonna be Velcro to Velcro. It's nice Velcro. Sticking to itself, so it's maybe a little trickier, but you know, once you get kind of a little bit of a handle on it, it's not gonna be bad. Main thing, just be sure that you actually line up uh, the different octagon sides so that it fits nice and smooth. I'm putting it sort of at the bottom of the thick Velcro here because I'm gonna be wanting to put the grid on as well so that we can test all these layers out. All right, nice. Again, nice and simple. Did not take me very long. Uh, and I think it's gonna take me even shorter time in future now that I actually know what I'm doing. All right, now here is our grid. Uh, I don't know if you can see it real well since I'm against the black background here. Uh, I've never actually used one in my videography. My old uh, Neewer lights didn't have them, but it lets you control the light spill a lot more, which is great. So let's go ahead and stick this guy on. It's gonna be the exact same method as the outer diffusion. All right, and very cool. Here we are, we've got the grid on. And so now let's go ahead and switch my setup a little bit. All right, so this is obviously gonna be a very dramatic test as we can see right now. I've got my Amaran 100D right here and I just have the reflector dish. And obviously I'm completely blown out here. So we're going to switch this up, first put on the whole softbox setup and then slowly strip that down from getting rid of the light grid and the different layers of diffusion to see what's actually happening here, how much light, how much softer. And this first setup is going to be like closer than you'd probably actually ever have it in a scene just to really get that dramatic effect. All right, and here is the Amaran 100D without anything on it, without the reflector dish, anything, just this crazy bright light source. One thing to note, 
it is actually kind of tricky to put this on when you've got all the grid and everything, you know, here put together on it. So I probably would put it on the light before putting all the grid and stuff on. Uh, we're getting a lot less light output right now, uh, much more controlled. All right, so this is now the knee we're at 100% with the light grid, with two layers of diffusion. Obviously, as I said, this is way closer than you're ever going to want a light to your subject, unless you're doing a light review, but here we are. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this back down to 1%. So here we are back at 1%. As we can see, that light grid actually was doing quite a bit. We've got a lot more spill going on. We're still at 1%. So we can see that that light grid really controls quite a bit uh, of what this light does, where the spill is, all that. So it's a great, great tool for control. So let's go ahead and take off our outer diffusion. All right, so here is just with the inner diffusion. Uh, I feel like it's, you know, not doing a little bit, but certainly at this close, it's not doing a whole ton. So let's go ahead and take it off. Just for giggles, let's put on this little guy. So for video, not really doing anything. So yeah, so this guy, not really gonna be that useful for me. Let's put back on just our outer diffusion. And so that is just our outer diffusion, what that's doing. Now I'm gonna do these same tests, but move the light to what might be a more realistic kind of setup for an interview or YouTube or something like that. So let's get into that. I also wanted to include the scene without this light. I do have, you know, a little bit of that nice blue light over there, a little bit of a red light over there, and just a bit of an orange one, as well as some ambient light coming through the window, but it's a dark day, it's almost evening. So we're not actually getting that much light from that, but I just wanted to give you guys a frame of reference. I'm at ISO 160 at F1.8 on my A6600. So here I am, the light is off to my left, about four feet away, kind of just a little bit shy of four feet away to the actual bulb. And right now I've got the uh, newer on here, but no diffusion, nothing like that. So let's go ahead and get it layering up. First, I'm gonna put on our inner diffusion. So here we are with just the inner diffusion. We can definitely see still doing something. I should mention this is still at 1%. This is maybe an overkill light for most like interior YouTube setups, at least as it is right now. Cause as we can see, there's some definite overexposure on my skin. So let's go ahead and put on our second diffusion layer. All right, and now here we are with our second layer of diffusion. This is looking much better, exposure is looking good, light fall off is looking much more pleasing, much more natural. So let's go ahead and put on the grid for our final test. Here is it with our light grid, uh, again at 1% on the light. This, you know, putting out much less light, but a much more soft, pleasing look to the light. So let's go ahead and turn our light up to 50%, and then I'll do 100% just so for those of you who maybe have uh, an Amaran 100D can see kind of what you're gonna be looking at as far as your light. So here we are with the Amaran at 50%. Probably realistically, I'd want it maybe 25% if this was gonna be my main light for this setup. So here I've jumped it up to 100% just for fun. As we can see, still very, very much blown out. And let's go ahead and jump back down to 25% to get something that I feel like is gonna be the, the look that I'd actually want from this light in this setup. All right, so here we are at 25% and I guess pretty much spot on. Uh, this is the general look that I'd want. I'd maybe tweak it down just a little bit or change my, you know, my ISO or aperture or something like that. ISO down to 125 and then boom, we are exactly crispy where we wanna be. Uh, I actually have two of these guys. So what I might do for a YouTube type setup would be have one over off to the side, giving me a nice uh, backlight, I'd say hair light, 
but there's not really anything here but for those with hair it would be a great hair light and you know then we've got you know my little accents with my knee were cn160 lights that i've talked about on my channel that have the colored gels on them and that just creates a nice little accent i'm nice and lit because of this grid our background is still nice and dark and everything is looking fantastic. I am so far quite pleased with what I'm seeing. Uh, I'm hopefully in the near future gonna be able to take this out on set and do some shoots and be able to create a little bit more of a comprehensive review actually working with models and actors and things like that. So I will catch you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing, give this video a like, that always helps boost it out and I will catch you very soon.